So we're at Cherrywood this morning. This unusual uh, viewing platform. Got a, it's uh, quite unusual. There's three of them here. Uh, it's quite close to each other. On a kind of a, a plinth. And uh, I'm going to walk up to a very familiar location. Uh, so this whole area is Cherrywood and uh, the Harcourt Street line of course came through here one time and uh, it's quite exciting because I found a good copy of Johnny Nobody and um, it's a very clean clear copy and it uh, has a whole lot of Harcourt Street related stuff in it of course <coughs> especially um, Bryce Glen Viaduct here. We have, uh, we're approaching it now, quite close to it. Let's see if we can uh, get up right beside it. A lot of rain overnight, or yesterday, I should say, and uh, the conditions aren't very favourable for underfoot. But um, yeah, when the priest was on the run after stealing the car, the film I'll, I'll post the link of the film he um, <clears throat> is quite anxious he has to get the court to prove his innocence and prove the the American that did uh, do the murder that had amnesia so that's a great little film starting off in Enniscary a lot of Enniscary footage but now I'm approaching the viaduct so um, it's completely changed in the film of course so this pylon here uh, indicates where the Bryce Glen Viaduct is. And also it's a good marker for uh, the, <coughs> excuse me, frog in my throat. It's a good marker for um, <coughs> where the filming took place in May 1960. The train stopped, it was uh, right at this very spot. An A12 loco came across the viaduct. I think there was five or six carriages, I think five, and uh, it stopped and there was workmen there with their picks and their shovels, etc. And uh, but the the, <coughs> the local, excuse me, the local driver would have been a, a CIE driver, A12. So it's quite exciting for him to be part of that film. And um, I didn't see it in the previous copy of Johnny Nobody. And see the way this is raised here. So the interesting there is some ballast here, but it's not from the original line. Far from it. This is quite new. But up until probably ten or so years ago, you could you could access the viaduct from here. Uh, a couple of months back, before the summer, I, I accessed it from the back of the hospital. Um, it's quite overgrown. It's not an easy uh, to navigate your way through all those weeds and so forth. But um, so, at least now I have the name of the lo lo or the, the type of loco, an A12, Metro Vickers. So that, that's fantastic to have that. So today I'm visiting all three locations, three contrasting locations that are associated with, with the that the Harcourt Street line is associated with the film. So you have Tully Cross, which I'll visit next, and uh, actually Tully Cross is the first is the first. Uh, Location on the film where um, him and Joe Lynch, Dinny, as Dinny in Glen Rowe, if you remember Glen Rowe, he, um, they're running away, get onto the train, and Dinny runs off, or his Joe Lynch character runs off, the itinerant. And um, it's quite clear on the new copy, you can see the gates, not typical level crossing, but you can, you can see the gates there as well, so, so it's, it's wonderful to have. So just swing back there. So it's very overgrown here, but it's nice to have. So please, uh, please hit the like button or leave a comment if you wish. And um, the, only, the other thing I want to say is that when he came across the viaduct, it was spectacular because uh, he had Kalani Obelisk in the background, Kalani Hill, and on the right. So you look out the right window of the train going across the obelisk, coming into the fields, you would have had the obelisk and then Valley Course chimney mines on the on the left so I'll move on but please uh, 
please wait for my next video. I've not done these locations before, but it's nice to add a bit more to them. Now I have a more detailed film. So uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate that.